Earlier, you used an invasive species trading card planning sheet to plan for the trading card you'll be creating today. You got data from the United States Department of Agriculture invasive species page, and then you used the planning sheet to find out its origin and other facts related to your species. Now we're going to create our trading card. Please note that it does say once you start, you need to work until you are done. So use your time effectively. When you open the Read Write Think card creator, if it says that you need to allow Adobe Flash, be sure that you do so, so this app works. It indicates that you want to type your first name and your last initial, and then press the Start or Enter button. The next step in the directions indicate that you will enter the name of your invasive species where it says topic and then click create your own. It also indicates the instruction cards in this file have representative images to help you. So again, with the topic, you would type, hopefully more successful than I, what your invasive species is, and you would choose create your own. Once you have done that, you will see a screen that allows you to enter information. Returning to our instructions, it identifies for us that to add an image, we want to use a real photo and not clip art, that we will need to save the image and upload it as the program doesn't allow us to add a link or a photo file. So once I find an image I want, I choose save image as. I give it a name so that I'm aware of what it is. And I save my file. Once I've done that, that is when I will be able to choose my image from my downloaded files, open it, and insert. You are able to adjust and make your image larger or smaller as needed, as well as slide to fit. Once you're satisfied, click OK. Hitting the over arrow brings you to the next screen. The directions for section one tell you in the section name to type invasive species, and then in the first label, scientific name, and in the second label, other common names. If no other common names, you'll type none. Notice it says do not type in question section. The box below the question gets the required information. As we continue, you'll notice that the data on the card becomes completed based on what I've filled out. Clicking the over arrow brings me to section two. My directions again identify what I should be putting in section two. Labeling the section coming to America, label one came from, and then the second arrived by. So again, I would fill out according to that information. Once I have completed section two, again, leaving where it says question blank, I then go to my next component. My instruction guide says section three gets named, what does invasive species do? And in the label, nothing will get recorded. Notice that although it says nothing gets recorded in the label, in creating my card, I identify what the species does and it appears in that section. You will repeat that same process for section four, where you'll identify where in the United States it is, as well as if you get the limit reached, 
Section 5, the arrival date. When you are done with your card, you are at the final steps. You will click Finish Editing and then click Finish. Once you have done that, you will get several options. If you choose to save the final, you will want to save it with the name that includes your invasive species, your initials, and your class period. Once you have done that, you will then hit save. This will place the files in your download. It is from there you will be able to upload it in Google Classroom. You also have the option, if you would like, to share your final copy. And if that is the case, you will want to, again, include the title, Invasive Species, your initials, your class period, and send it to me at rmclean at nburlington.com. Notice it says, wait for Dr. M to say that I have your trading card before you close. Whether you email it to me or you save and attach it to Google Classroom in the assignment, once you close this, you have to restart entirely if it's not received.